In the span of 200 years, computers went from extremely large calculators to ultra-portable devices that our world runs on. It's hard to imagine our current world without computers, but for much of human history we did not have these available. So what was the first computer and how did humanity invent it? Humanity's quest to develop computers stemmed from a need to solve complex mathematical problems. Devices for aiding computation have existed for thousands of years. From the etched markings in ancient bones representing tally counting systems that date over 20,000 years ago, to abacuses which were seen in Babylonia around 2700 to 2300 BC. These tools served as an aid for basic arithmetic calculations. Around 100 BC we see the design of purpose-built machines to calculate astronomical positions. We believe the first of these is the Antikythera mechanism, but later we see the invention of mechanical aids such as the astrolabe. We now refer to these mechanisms as analog computers, distinct entities to the digital computers we are familiar with today. And at the time of their invention they were simply purpose-built machines to tackle specific calculations. Fun fact, did you know the first use of the word computer was by Richard Braithwaite? in the 1613 book called Young Man's Gleanings. The word was used to describe a person performing calculations. There were many more computational devices built through various civilizations through time. The first mechanical computer was not devised of until the 1800s. Charles Babish was an English mathematician and his life's work later crowned him as the father of computers. He began around 1820 designing a machine to automate the calculation of polynomial functions called a difference engine. This was effectively a mechanical calculator However, the limitations in metalworking techniques of the time meant that a sufficiently precise machine would be uneconomical and ultimately the project was abandoned by the British government in 1842 as a failure. However, Babbage was up to something entirely different in the meantime, something that would change the world. This is where we see the emergence of the concept of the analytical engine, the first mechanical computer that was fully programmable and automatic. The engine's most revolutionary feature was the ability to change its operation by changing the instruction set. Prior to this breakthrough, all mechanical aids to calculations were essentially just calculators. However, the analytical engine was capable of performing all four base arithmetic operations and making comparisons, as well as conditional branching and looping. Later it was shown that the analytical engine would be Turing complete, which means given enough time and memory, along with the necessary instructions, you can solve any computational problem, no matter how complex. By our modern definition, this was the first computer, or at least it would have been. However, just like the pitfalls in constructing mathematical tables with the difference engine, Babbage's ideas again proved infeasible with the technology around him. But the legacy of his innovation reverberates across the modern world. In fact, using the description of Babbage's engine, Ada Lovelace published the first computer program and became the first ever computer programmer. Consider subscribing as next we explore Ada Lovelace and her achievements in this series on the history of computing. Thanks for watching.